This year I've had the opportunity to second shoot several weddings and do a bigger documentary project. So I thought I'd share what I've settled on for my camera build. I've decided I really prefer handheld instead of using a gimbal. I just feel like I'm more in control. So this is my Zcam E2. It has a micro four thirds sensor with dual native ISO at 500 and 2500. A lot of people think micro four thirds is no good in low light, but I think it's really plenty good enough for what I use it for, especially if you put a fast lens on it. I usually use my Metabones 0.64 times speed booster, but I sometimes switch it out for the smart adapter if I need more reach on my lens. The main lens that I use is the Canon 24-105 f4. A lot of people don't really like this lens just because it's an f4 max aperture, but I put more value on getting the shot and the flexibility with the zoom range rather than on the look. Um, not to say that the look is bad at all. This lens also has image stabilization, which is really important for the longer end when you're handheld. I like to use a top handle for low shots and just generally being able to hold it when I'm not using it. This one's from Small Rig. It has a run stop button, um, but it only works with Panasonic. There's a newer version of it that comes with cables for Sony and Zcam, but unfortunately those cables don't work with this one. The main monitor that I use is the Portkeys BM5, and it's white, which I've never seen another white one, but that's pretty cool. It's got really good build quality made out of metal. And it has SDI as another input option, so that gives me some flexibility and room to grow. I have the top handle and monitor on NATO rails, so I could leave off the handle if I wanted to and just put the monitor straight on the body. For a mic, I use the Rode Video Micro and a little cold shoe on the side. This is just for ambient audio, um, and so the quality of the sound is not super important. I also have a Deity S-Mic 2S that I might put on there eventually if sound quality is more important. I just need to buy a cable for it. The side handle that I use is the revolver clutch. I used to have a plain handle, but I would have to hit record and then get the shot. And so the shots were always shaky at the beginning and the end. It just wasn't a great way to work. This one has a record button, two scroll wheels that click, so I can record, adjust ISO, white balance, and aperture, punch in for focus, and turn on and off the preview LUT, all from the handle. I held off on this purchase for a while because it's a bit expensive, but I think it's worth it. Zcams take Sony NPF batteries, and I have IDX brand. Um, this one's a 72 watt hour, and it lasts probably eight to nine hours. So I've gone through most of a long wedding day and only had to switch at the end. And the battery didn't even die, I just thought it was getting close. I also have two of the 48 watt hour version. For the monitor, I use 32 watt hour Watson NPF batteries, and they last probably four to five hours each. I'm not sure what brand this HDMI cable is, but it's nice and thin, so I like it. And I just roll up the remaining length and Velcro it to the side of the camera. For miking people, I have the DJI wireless, and I put that in the cold shoe on the top handle. It's nice because it records internally to the transmitters, and it transmits at the same time, so you get the signal coming straight into the camera, and then you also have that backup recording. And I've used the Rode Wireless Goes before, but just the control on this one where you can trigger recording from the receiver and the charging case are just really great features. So that's my camera build for weddings and documentary handheld style. I'd love to hear what you think and what you might do differently um, and maybe how you have your camera set up for this kind of shoot. So leave a comment if you want, like the video if you want. So in closing, I guess I'm done.